in the first league game down there. So we're ready for a tip. It's won by Amir Williams. It's Cheshire who get us. Sorry, Cheshire. I've caught Dave's disease here. Musa who get us underway. <laughs> and it's Cortez Edwards who's bringing the ball up at the moment. And Ramon Fletcher gets it to steal that one from Boutnick and lays it in from two straight away. Guarded by Rodney Glasgow. And Ramon Fletcher at the moment on Martin Boutnick. Here's Jordan Williams. That's a lovely pass to Amir Williams by Jordan. Very quiet opening points wise. Jordan Williams tries to go across court to Cortez Edwards, but it's picked off by Mike Morsell. And he goes Euro step to the basket and lays it in for two. Don't rebound, but Hussein tidies up for the Eagles. Morsell puts up a three. In it goes for Mike Morsell. Eagles lead 7 to 3. For the Eagles, 33% for. Uh, Wuss is not actually set in the three-point line of fire, but I'll tell you what, Marcel and uh, Sane are developing some uh, long-range stuff. From Jordan Williams, Eagles come away with the rebound, Mike Marcel will go to the basket again, go to work, and manages to lay that in off the backboard over. Pretty effective on a straight-line drive as well, he, he's using a Euro step, but it's not particularly pronounced, it's more the way it slows up off his last step. Under the rim and bounces back, taken by Edwards. Edwards goes at to four, manages to go past all the options around him. Pretty mm -hmm. smart move, pretty yeah. smart player. Yeah. Totally agree, Dave. Very smart move. He has more sell, he's gonna drive in on, on Hughes. Manages to get it over Hughes and in for two again. Mike Morsell definitely feeling it tonight. Nine well, of the Eagles, eleven points. Well it's a big change in the way the Eagles play when CJ Getty's not playing, but Marcel tonight is a real threat. And what, nine of the 11 points? Yeah. Kofi Josephs, who's come on. Jordan Williams against Hussein. Turns Hussein quite easily. And then, and then files. Whoa. There's differences of the game on Sunday. I think Kai Williams, a really nice all round game. Meanwhile, Marcel's made one of two from the line, which is Josephs for three. He can't leave. Oh, what beautiful, beautiful ball movement there. And you would think with Hughes at the end of it, that would have been converted. Oh, one Fletcher at the other end, blocked by Kai Williams and tidied up well by Darius Defoe. Yeah, pretty good help as well from Nick Slitcher. Yeah. Nick Slitcher in the corner for three. That one goes down. Edward on to game with the ball. Lovely pass inside to Van Sawyer's drive. Come on. Didn't quite get the rebound. Kofi Josephs inside as Van Sawyer's again. He's missed that layup. Goal 10 given. Eagles inbound is picked up by Kofi Josephs, who tries to go the whole length of the court, but it's blocked by Kai Williams. Court has Edwards. Nice little dance. A little bit ragged at the moment, down by eight. Jordan Williams out to Kofi Josephs. He comes inside. Josephs up for two. Doesn't make it. Hussein takes the rebound. A long punt from Ramon Fletcher from just inside his own half ends the quarter with Worcester comfortably in front of 25 to 17, and the Eagles already searching for answers. Moment, Jordan Williams into Amir Williams. He's backing Hussein down. Good help defense from Will Saunders. Jordan Williams is going to have to shoot from the elbow. Does shoot from the elbow, and no. he's already got four rebounds as well. Here's Jordan Williams, Mia Thompson back to Will Jordan Williams. Along the baseline to Mark Hughes in the corner for three. In Mia Williams, Edwards, back to Mia Williams. Out to Jordan Williams. Jordan Williams going to shoot the three. Jordan Williams not. And Fletcher, and it's the starting five that's back out. Mia Williams takes the inbound. Fantastic block from Sade Hussein. Here's Mike Morsell at the other end. Goes and lays it in for two. Mike Morsell certainly come to play tonight. The Eagles still down by 12. Must have looking comfortable every time they go down. Nice pass from Jordan Williams to Cortez Edwards. Cortez But still a long time to go. Still 26 minutes to play in the whole game. Yes, Fletcher driving to the basket. Gives it out to Defoe. That's a lovely pass. And then Edwards comes forward. Gives it to Jordan Williams. Jordan Williams, is, to me, he's really bossed the paint at the moment. And again, goes past to Sane, looking for the pass, gives it a hard pass out to Boutnick. Boutnick, nice ball movement from Wooster Van Soors. Edwards, Van Soors goes inside, 
Drives in hard, lays it in for two. And Boston this Worcester up to 40 to 23 lead. Mike Morcel trying his best to get something going for the Eagles. Knocks down yet another two. Well, most of his stuff's been individual efforts, but thank goodness for that because without his points, where on earth would this game be? So Van Soers into Jordan Williams. Every time Worcester come down, Jordan Williams seems to be in the. Kofi Josephs thought about it, gives it back to Edwards, this time he will, she didn't know he won't, he'll drive to the basket and drops it off beautifully for Van Soyers. Van Soyers away until they've created a weakness in the Eagles defence. Morsell for three, that one's off, the rebound drops to Darius Defoe who gratefully lays it in for two, that gets the Eagles. It's Jordan Williams on the opposite side of the block, good hands by Kai Williams. Jordan Williams bouncing in and hook shot and with his left hand and in it goes. Well, the only thing that's happening at the moment, Jeff, is this lead's being extended now. Coach McLeod's used two timeouts, so the only way he can have another timeout is if Matt Newby calls one. As it out, ball movement from so Van Sawyer to Kofi Joseph. Joseph's driving at the basket, goes for a wild layup. Here we go. And there's a good transition for the Eagles. That's the best transition they've had all night. Now, Glasgow in the free in the way they were and there's Fletcher coming up with a great steal on, on Hughes and he'll go and lay that one in for two and Fletcher in Glasgow sparking it but here's Edwards to reply Josephs for three in it goes from Kofi Josephs bound to Bountnick comes back and gets it back off Bountnick spots up for the two and in it goes too easy for me to have that no real pressure yeah. on the defense didn't get there. closed down didn't get challenged and there's Glasgow's lost it at the other end, and Joseph finds Hughes. Hughes late between game clock and shot clock. It's Morsell again. Everybody else totally static for the Eagles. Morsell tries to give it to Kai Williams. He can't get along the baseline. Sardi Hussein up for two. Hits the rim. They've got two seconds. Bob connect from halfway. Doesn't really matter as far as the Worcester are concerned. They lead 53 to 37 at the break, and that was quite emphatic, Dave. Well, you know, it, it's been mainly a comfortable half for the Worcester Wolves. X's and O's, they were completely outplaying the Eagles. I thought they were also clearly winning the mental battle as well, the other side, which is so important in this game as Pat Riley used to say if you don't win the mental side you never win anything 23 to 37 Bow connect now nice pass inside to Amir Williams Amir Williams is easy able to beat Sadie Hussein to the basket half Hussein gives it to Glasgow who turns the corner out to Fletcher he has more sell inside gives it back out to Defoe Defoe drives hard to the basket but he can't make the layup Amir Williams inside but this time Hussein came up with a steal Morsell driving almost by himself to the basket gives it to Fletcher Fletcher drives through the gap better defense from the Eagles inside he has Glasgow Hussein Hussein comes inside gives it to Defoe but it was a poor it was a poor pass the so Eagles with a chance to cut it to 10 Good ball movement for once, and Hussein floats in for two. Here's to Jordan Williams, and to Amir Williams. From the, oh, that's, well, there was a chance there for the Eagles. Amir Williams, long range two came off the rim, but Cortez Edwards it was who took the rebound. Defoe, oh, Defoe tries to find Fletcher, but it's stolen by Edwards. He gives it to Hughes, and Hughes lays it in for two. Fletcher for two, in it goes. And yeah, I think the, the, one of the other keys to this game, Dave, is the fact that the Eagles have been sucking into playing at Wolves' pace as well. And as Jordan Williams there, they help them up, but at the moment they've got very little to cheer for. Yes, Fletcher drives to the basket, goes in hard. And there's Bauchneck. He drives inside, little stop and pop, and in for two. Nice play by the Dutchman. Morsell. Fletcher's going to drive. He gives it inside to Kai Williams. Kai Williams the gap to what it was at half time, which is 16 points. Jordan Williams at the other end. Backs Morsell down. And able to get past Morsell and lay it in. Up to 
Josephs to Williams. Williams again, another wrap around pass of race line. Jordan Williams has quite a good game tonight. Nice line up for the Eagles there, just one on four. Morsell once again. Gives it to Kai Williams. Kai Williams up for two. That's off the rim. Jordan Williams and Mike Morsell it is. But that's the end of the quarter. 56 to the Eagles, 74 to Worcester. That's an 18 point gap. So, by, by my reckoning, they won that quarter by two. Yeah. 20 points the gap. Eagles coming apart a little bit here. There's Jordan Williams from Amir Williams. Other way around this time, and Jordan Williams puts it in for two. Eight to Williams. Rodney Glasgow manages to get the ball off the floor. He goes coast to coast, floats it in for two. Nick can't get the ball off Fletcher. Saunders. Saunders turns the ball over. Bout next out in the open and lays it in for two. Still by 67 to 66 with two and a half minutes to go in that one. The other one looks all dead as well. Sheffield 85, Manchester 66 with six minutes to go. Come on, took the rebound but uh, turned the ball over and trying to give it to one of the teammates. Fletcher out to Hussein. Hussein takes a bounce, looks to shoot the three, misses the three. Morsell takes a good rebound. Edwards and Joseph playing passy. Edwards to Amir Williams, to, to Johnson Thompson, but Mike Morsell comes from behind, and that's a great block by Mike Moore. Johnson Thompson. There's Fletcher, Glasgow. Glasgow with a floater, in for two points. Eagles back to where they were at half time, down 16, 3.50 to go. Here's Amir Williams on Saudi Hussein. Spin move to the basket, lays it in off the glass. Saudi Hussein gives it back out to Glasgow. Glasgow in and out. Hussein comes in by his side for two, knocks down the two. Edwards to Josephs. Josephs driving in hard. Saudi Hussein gets a rebound. Win for me, you throw a timber, you combo, you know, you, you know, so none of that, none of that's happening. It's just the same, same rotations, just playing in the same way. But well, they're not here, so somebody else somewhere has got to try something. Cortez Edwards, nice ball movement, Hughes to Josephs. Joseph knocks down the three, celebrates it with a wag of the finger. A few of them leaving their seats early. Still two minutes left in the game. Yeah, well, they just, I don't think they've really felt part of the game tonight. You can understand that. Pick up two more points or one more point. We'll have a double-double. Glasgow to Schlitzer. Schlitzer lays it in. Schlitzer. Having with offence a score or whatever seems to be just taking everything away from the defence. That shouldn't happen. Long three from Cozy Joseph, and he's nailed that one, no problem at all. Will Katinge has come on for the last minute of the game as well. There's Fletcher driving to the basket. Yep, I'll have two points. To be fair to Mike Morsell, he's done everything he could. It's 27 points, eight rebounds, three assists. Oh. And that's a three point shot from the substitute. Coming on, first touch of the ball, Rams Delone knocks down a three. Schlitzer going inside, he lays it in for two. 23.2 seconds to go. Wolves lead 95 to 79. And I think Kofi Joseph thinks that's all she wrote. So that's going to be it. 95-79 and a fantastic win for Worcester on the road down in, in Newcastle. That makes it 2-0 and zero for the season against them and 3-0 and zero overall. Worcester really have had an Eagles number this season. And the Eagles have only got 48 hours to recover before they have to go to well, a very tough have, Sheffield. They have to simply get together, whether they have to knock heads, they have to talk it over with each other, people have got to put the cards on the table, but they have to go down to Sheffield. They want to be so, so not easy. No, everybody may be talking about, you know, an NBL1 team will never win this. It's a possibility the way the Eagles are playing at the moment. They've got to recover and get something from that game on Sunday. And the most important thing is they've got to come in that game on Sunday with a positive attitude. And they've got to give us 40 minutes of intensity on defence. Yeah, two or three minutes of quarter is what they've seen we've played tonight. And it hasn't worked for them, whereas 
I think what we can say quite simply about Worcester is Worcester played as a team all the way around and were very impressive indeed. They certainly were, and you can see now why they, you know, they've, they've picked up silverware already. They're obviously going to continue to do well in the league, and there wouldn't be a team that you would want to meet in the playoffs, that's for sure.